Hey there, Peter from ZipGrow. Today we're over at the Zip Pod and we're gonna be giving you a quick tour about our newest product that makes starting indoor farming easier than ever. So in each one of our Zip Pods, we have four rows of 60 eight foot ZipGrow towers. Each ZipGrow tower is able to come out and be planted on our grow table at the end of the unit. Uh, it comes fully stuffed with our matrix media and our wicking strips for growing. So here we've got our light bars. Each uh, grouping of towers is going to have a stack of lights in front of them. We partner with an industry specialist to design particular light spectrums depending on what you're growing in your canopy and um, we've put these lights on mobile tracks to allow you to create aisles that make it easier to come and grab your towers or harvest in place if you want. And these you can easily just push or pull out of focus. So all of our lights uh, are connected in, in line. Uh, they are wired back to a quick connect that goes back to the drivers on the ceiling. Um, each of these quick necks makes it super easy if for whatever reason you have an issue with one of your lights to disconnect and Replace your one light swap in a new one and reconnect it as part of your lighting system One of the things that we're super excited about is uh, with this new unit We've been able to bring together so many of the tiny details that if you miss on uh, Normal projects that it makes all of the difference in the world just for operation. So for example, um, we've got a little drain out line on this end that uh, when you do your clean outs, it makes it super easy to disassemble the end and send it back. Either you can choose to send it out as a drain to waste system, or you can um, use this to drain back to your main reservoir as part of your clean up procedure. Another quick feature that is, isn't standard in each of our models, but it is as an add-on option, we have a controlled outlets at the back of the, uh, the back of the unit to quickly uh, install new circulation fans should your crops require it. Um, there's one here and there's also one over on the other side tied all the way back to the controller and it'll energize your fans as required. So overhead here uh, I've got a fresh air louvered intake with a filter. What this unit is used for is in the case of a high CO2 or dangerous gas in your environment, this unit will open in pair with the uh, exhaust fan at the front, which will push the air out. Fresh air will come in the back. And this unit and the one uh, in the rear are thermally sealed from the exterior to prevent any freezing of the louvers in extreme temperature environments. So right here, we've got our plumbing package. Uh, the reservoir is underneath the table and from the start we've got our main irrigation pump that draws from the reservoir, uh, goes through a standard basket filter and is able to pump up through a 200 micron filter um, and up and over to our four main uh, tower rows and irrigation lines. Again at the top we've got our two uh, gallon per hour drippers feeding to each of the towers which feeds all the way back down to our sump pumps and again, recirculates into the main reservoir. Uh, one of the nice things about this, uh, our plumbing manifold here, is that we've got a number of diverter valves that allow us to direct the water where we want it to go. Um, we can select each of our individual tower rows. We can turn on and off the watering cycles, play with the flow rates for each row. Another thing that we can do is actually divert off the main line to a drain to waste, which actually plums up and over our units over to our main water inlet where we can easily connect that to a garden hose and out to a waste receptacle. So over in this corner, we've got the brains of our farm um, and our circuit panel. The brains of the farm is the Atom controller and with it, we can schedule all of the different parameters within our farm from uh, our you know, temperature, CO2 levels, desired humidity. Um, and this can all be controlled with Adam's uh, stage system, which allows you multiple levels of control for your heating, cooling, humidity, and CO2. You can also plan your irrigation schedule for your seedlings and for your main irrigation lines all through this one system. The Atom has a cloud a remote monitoring platform that you can connect to with each uh, sale of a zip pod. If you should desire to have that feature, you will require um, 
a Wi-Fi or a, an internet connection to the units. Otherwise, the system is fully functional offline as well. So the seedling racks each come with a nice sealed door to help maintain higher humidity levels with your seedlings. Um, each uh, table comes pre-built with three levels for the seedlings, which allows you space for um, 1,200 seeds per tray. So that's 3,600 seedlings in the full unit. Each of the individual trays are fed from the main reservoir in a flood to drain system. And should the humidity levels, or if you wanna hardy up your seedlings, we also have a number of fans that feed each of the trays um, to feed it through. All of the lighting and fan scheduling, again, is used through the Atom controller. So at this end of our unit, near our control panel, each pod will have two exits illuminated with emergency lights overhead with battery backup. Should anything uh, happen and you are completely without light, each of the doorknobs are a push button unit um, that are glow in the dark. So you can always find your way out. So in the zip pod, we have anti-slip floors. They're insulated from below and they're mold and moisture resistant. In this zip pod, we've got a special indoor air conditioner unit. This particular model actually has the compressor from the outdoor unit in the indoor unit. And this is beneficial because it keeps in, in extreme low temperature situations like negative 70 degrees, it will protect your compressor from freezing and locking out any potential cooling. With that, um, we've got quick connects out to that unit, which makes setting up, setting up the units super simple without the need for an HVAC technician. From the end of our ha air handler, we've got our plenum, uh, which distributes all the fresh air to your plant rows. So above us, we've got four rows of fabric ducting with perforations to help direct the air directly down your plant rows to pull moisture and stale air away from your, your stems and your leaves of your plants. So over in this corner, we've got our RO unit. This guy um, is capable of delivering 300 gallons per day of water to your main reservoir. It connects up to your main irrigation connection here, which is a standard three quarter inch coarse garden hose fitting. Super great because you can easily disconnect this and connect it to a garden hose if you ever wanna wash off anything in the space. And from there, we have the main drain out to your uh, drain to waste system. So over in this corner, we've got our breaker panel. Every panel is a standard 200 amp, 240 volt service hookup. Each unit will come uh, CSA electrically certified for safe use in North America. So all of the materials inside of the zip pod are designed for high humidity environments. Not specifically that you'll ever be high like a pool room, but everything is powder coated, stainless steel or uh, moisture resistant aluminum. So over here, we've got our work table. Again, a stainless steel as always. We've put in the effort here to leave things as open as you possibly can to give you lots of space to plant, harvest, and do any packaging that you need to do for your customers. Built into the table is all of the components you really need to work in your hydroponic farm. Down here we've got the paired version of the Atom Doser, which will draw from each of your nutrient solutions to feed your main reservoir as well as the different sensors required, your EC, pH, and temperature probes to uh, accurately monitor your hydroponic solution. We're at the outside of the pod. Here we have our base frame unit, which we can put on top of a compacted gravel pad or even better, a cement pad. We have an exterior dimension of 11 foot six by 40 feet long. On top of our steel frame, which we can use to uh, lift off with our crane uh, as required, is our structurally insulated panels. So each of these guys is, has a value of R22 um, they, with expanded spray foam on the interior and um, are made, again, from weather-resistant paneling. So back here, we've got our main air conditioner outdoor unit. This unit is a simple fins and fan with no uh, compressor, which again is super beneficial because it eliminates the need for a low ambient compressor kit. On the side, we've got our two water hookups, one for our inlet and one for our outlet. So again, any of the water that we wanna pump out of our system, you can grab it to a uh, garden hose and pull it away. 
overhead, we have our uh, air inlet for those, the exhaust fan in the emergency CO2 situations. We've got a good squirrel cage on there to keep any of the little critters out. And over on the far side here, we've got our main service panel. Um, in your installation, you will require a 200 amp, 240 volt service hookup supplied by your local electrician. Up top here, we can actually see our industrial roof membrane, which is designed to keep out all of the weather conditions that your farm may experience, sure to last for the lifespan of your farm. So that brings us to the end of the tour for today. Thanks for sticking around to the end. If you have any questions or you're interested, please shoot us a line at hello at zipcrow.com and we would be happy to talk about our newest product.